This is a time lapse. This is a time lapse. Don't put this voice in because this is a time lapse. Yeah, should we go on a pumpkin tour? I'm not very educated in this department. No, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's up, darling? My eye on movement. I can't see no one from too much. beautiful people how is everyone i hope you're all good I'm up nice and early today because me and sophie have got the coziest autumn numnal meant to say autumn and autumnal in one and it kind of got a bit muddled um but yeah we've got a super cute day planned today and i've been excited for this for weeks we've had it planned for so long um and we decided to take you guys with us so that's super exciting i know today is just going to be one of those days that is going to give me that like warm fuzzy feeling inside do you know what i mean you guys already know the drill but if you haven't pop the kettle on get all the snacks get cozy because today is going to be such a good day and i'm so excited that you're coming along with us person who wakes up happy when it's cold so i thought before i jump in the shower and do my makeup and everything i'd just quickly show you guys my morning skincare routine I'm gonna be switching up soon seeing as it's gonna be like colder because my skin does go a lot drier in like the later autumn so i'm gonna show you my skincare routine that i've been doing kind of like for months at the moment and then i'm probably gonna change it in the next few weeks just because my skin is feeling like it needs a little bit more TLC. So I'm going to use my favourite cleanser, which is the Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. This is brilliant if you have dry skin, if you have sensitive skin. Um, it also lasts ages, so I think it is about, I think it's about £18. I might be wrong, it might be cheaper than that. Um, but I promise it's worth it. It lasts ages and you only need the tiniest little amount. I also use every single morning and night my Foreo Luna 3. You guys hear me talk about this all the time because honestly, I cannot recommend this enough. My skin is so much clearer and brighter. I rarely ever get breakouts anymore either. As I said, this is the Foreo Luna 3. I'm going to leave a direct link to this in the description box. It's actually controlled through an app, which is really, really clever because you can actually customise your skincare routine. So every morning and evening, I usually just pop this on for 60 seconds with a foaming cleanser it then pulsates and I just work it around my face you can almost feel it like pulling the dirt out of your skin just pop this under the sink so it's damp I'm gonna be using this side first which has got these little bristles on so it gives you like a really light exfoliation you may be able to hear a horse walking past my bathroom window I live in the country and instead of cars going past my window I get horses then on my app I've selected 60 seconds and the intensity I've got on 10 so I'm just gonna hit start and the foreo will come on I usually just work this around my face. So this is also my post-workout skincare routine as well, which I think has massively played a part in why my skin is so clear. It's so important to cleanse your skin after working out. You know, when your skin collects dirt, sweat goes into your pores, it's so important to get all of the dirt out of all your pores to prevent getting breakouts. So another amazing feature on the Luna 3 is if you flip it over, on this side you can actually give yourself a firming facial massage, which is unreal. Especially for those nights where your skin does need a little bit more TLC, you want to have a bit of a pamper night, it's absolutely brilliant. The app will actually give you a selection of massages. Once you've chosen the one you want to do, the app will actually talk you through step by step how to massage your face. So I'm just going to quickly choose one of these to show you. So I'm going to do eyes on the prize today. I do usually like a contour crazy so all you do is just apply a little bit of serum on this side 
Place the device on the outer corner of the brow bone and then gently glide the device towards the inner corner of the eye. I need to stop that massage because it's actually going to send me to sleep and I need to wake up. I'm going to leave a direct link to the Foreo Luna 3 in the description box below. As you guys know, I highly recommend it. It's so, so good and it's made such a difference to my skin. So one more product that I want to talk to you about, which is fairly new in my skincare routine, is the Body Shop Oils of Life Cream. Oh my gosh. So I got a little tester of this. And I was aware it was quite expensive, so I was like, oh, I'm going to see how the tester is. And I tried the tester and fell in love with it and had to go and buy it. So I actually bought this the day before yesterday. I've used it two days in a row, and oh my god, for this time of year, this is brilliant. I'll also pop a link for this in the description as well. It's so moisturising, and I don't know, I feel like my skin looks super glowy this morning after using it. So I think it was about £26, so it is a little bit more expensive. But I always think skincare things are definitely worth spending a little bit more money on. Um, just because I find you really do get what you pay for with skincare products. So, yes, I shall leave a link for this one as well. But it's absolutely amazing. I also think the jar is just very autumnal. So, I'm going to jump in the shower, get all ready. And then Sophie will be here and we can go out for our autumn day. I'm so excited. Nah, come on, he is quite fit. Boy. Sophie's just, um, perving. I am being a bit of a hermit pervert. <laughs> Sophie's on the vlog. Hey. Hey. Excuse my orange hand. Oh yeah, hey. Sophie put gradual tanner on but forgot to wash her hands. Do I you know what the like... worst bit is when it goes in between your fingers? Oh yeah, it's that, look, are they like... <laughs> What toner oh, did you use? The Garnier? Yeah, Garnier Gradual Tan. We love a bit of Garnier I put it Gradual Tan. I thought, do you know what? If I'm going to wear orange, you can't be pale. True. Do you feel better? I do actually. You I always, always tell me. I was like, come on, right? Because I'm so lazy, I never bother. And I watch you do it. I lay there and I'm like, oh, I should probably be doing that, but I'm not going to. It does make you feel so much better, though. It makes you feel like a healthy glow. Anyway, let's address the elephant in the room. We've got our pumpkin spices. Talk about me then. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, I've forgotten my order. Coffee, coffee light frappuccino, almond milk, sugar-free pumpkin spice. Well, no, a almost tiny, tiny bit. They don't do sugar-free pumpkin spice, oh, yeah. so it's just normal pumpkin spice. Oh. I always want like ice blonde hair whenever I'm next to you. I went darker, and now I'm like, I, I want your face when I'm next to you. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> Excited today because we haven't seen each other in like a week. Oh, that's quite a long time for us, isn't it? Mm. It actually feels like an eternity. I feel like I don't know you. I feel like we need to get to know each other again. I know. Let's go on our first date. Shall we? So obviously, first stop has been Starbucks. Starbucks is a... S <laughs> oh. <laughs> too many S's. Starbucks is an essential. That's actually a tongue twister. That's like she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. What's Pla the other one? Do the Peter one. Peter Piper... Pi pe Peter Piper picked pickle pepper. Peter Piper picked. No, I can't do it, sorry. Oh. Red, red lorry, yellow lorry, 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 red lorry, yellow lorry. Oh my god! Oh, you actually smashed that. <laughs> smashed that. I part. started saying it, it was like it couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> we are going. Would you like to tell everyone so? We're going to Peter Piper picked pickle pumpkin picked. <laughs> pumpkin picking. <laughs> what do you have on your CV hobbies? I don't have any on my CV. Well, I always think that's a bit of a weird thing to have on your CV. Do you remember like when you used to do it at school and everyone used to put, I like listening to music. Hanging I like out hanging out with my friends. <laughs> yeah, hanging out with friends. Chilling out with friends. I like being social. I would yeah. never put that. I never had that on mine. No, I like no, sitting I at home been. watching Netflix. That's what I'd put and on my list. chilling. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs> Why do I always do that face? I'm sorry my finger's red if you could see through the turn. They go like... <laughs> yeah, I can't see how they're just orange. They're the same colour as the pumpkin spice. Oh my god, they are. No, especially these days. They look really different with tan on. Why do I look, look so liney? Look how wrinkly. Why do you look like you've been in the bath for about six hours? I think it's holding this drink. I'm not actually joking. Is it? Like, yeah. honestly, Sophie's fingertips have gone like they do when you go in the bath. I call them prawn fingers. Yeah, they have. It's because <laughs> it, they, they do look like little prawns, don't they? Put a bit of pesto on them. I could eat them. 
Anyway, bye. See you at the pumpkin picking. Peter picked a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin picked. Oh my god, my hand! <laughs> <laughs> scarecrows though because they're like mannequins like look how creepy they are imagine those at night let me zoom in on it so you can actually see it in its full creepiness it's like wobbling a bit it gives it like a human effect like what the hell (laughs) you're right hun look oh my god this is like a full-on pumpkin trail and you get to get a wheelbarrow Please let me take the wheelbarrow. Okay, you can take the wheelbarrow. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing. One wheelbarrow per family. We can only have one. We're a little family. We're a unit. (laughs) What number should we have? Let's get a lucky number. Is there 11? There's the 11! Okay. 11, 11! Oh my god, this is going to be a good day. (laughs) This is something I never quite thought we'd be doing on a Tuesday. (laughs) I thought it was just going to be like a big field of pumpkins. I didn't think it was going to be like a full on trail. I'm How cool is this? More mannequins. Oh my god, there's more creepy mannequins, but this time they're green. <laughs> that, I'm sorry, but that is so creepy. I had a fly on her face. She was like, it's meant to be. <laughs> Hun, you've got a fly on your nose. Oh my god, it's like she's. I think that's a camera. Look at the eyeballs. I feel like I'm in the hills of eyes and that imagine if that was someone's actual eyeballs. <laughs> oh my god, that you know because they keep eyeballs in jars. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little bit You're getting ahead of yourself. Getting a bit carried away. This is this is so cute. I can't go over how I cute can't this is. How are you getting on with the wheelbarrow? Is Good. it wheelbarrow? Wheelbarrow. You know, I don't really know. Wheelbarrow. 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 This is a time lapse. This is a time lapse. Don't put this voice in because this is a time lapse. Pumpkin galore. Oh my god. I <laughs> Is that mud heavy? <laughs> Me and Sophie are really worried because we've both got like suede boots on. <laughs> Look at the state. <laughs> But Sophie's a Timberland, so Sophie's are a little bit more expensive than mine. They said it will be fun. They said Sophie, our feet are so heavy. It's like I know. It's like you've got you know those ankle weights. <laughs> it feels like I've got ankle weights on. Leg workout. It actually is. There's so much mud on your feet. So should we do a top tip if, if you ever come pumpkin picking to wear, wear well, Wellington, Wellington boots? Wellington boots like Paddington Bear. Yeah, literally. Oh, Paddington wear wellies. wears wellies, doesn't he? We should have worn. Oh, if we wore wellies, we could have had a mad time. And also, don't wear light coloured clothing. Don't wear a long camel coat. <laughs> you just get ready to get covered in mud. Yeah, don't don't come looking nice. There's just n- don't do it. There's knee point. There's your knee point. <laughs> I'm sad about our boots. Look at our little boots. Do, 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 do. That's oh Star Wars. Oh, I think it might be. Um, so, whoa. Talk just... us through the pumpkins. Should we go on a pumpkin tour? I'm not very educated in this department. No, but you can explain what they look like. Okay, so over this side we have your, oh. you know, your... Um, run-of-the-mill pumpkins. Run-of-the-mill pumpkins. Your orange, your slightly less orange, your green, kind of unripe pumpkin. Um, a variety of sizes, small, mm-hmm. medium and large, and oh, XL. Yeah. The prices are at the top of the, through the little holes, so they are. They are. Over there. <laughs> there are white pumpkins, like the big white ones. 
and I think further on there are like more grey ones. So they've actually got quite a good variety. We've got a few of the variety down here. We have the uh, baby whites. We have the baby. Do so you know the names? I'm just making them up. Are you? <laughs> And then we've got your run-of-the-mill pumpkin, you've got your run-of-the-mill slightly unripe pumpkin, you've got your kind of average pumpkin right oh, here. No. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> it's like a leg workout. You could do some of these. Oh my god, I'm not about flying. I need to get back a bit so people can appreciate. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> we were just trying to get <laughs> and I turned on Sophie said, make sure it's steady. <laughs> We've picked our pumpkins, we're now making our way to the boot scraper. What a great idea. How does it even work? Oh. Oh. oh, I see. Oh my god. Does it get it off? Yeah. Oh my god, it does. I mean, <laughs> not that well. <laughs> it's hard. Hello everyone. So, since you last saw us, we were very muddy, very cold, and surrounded by pumpkins. We are now back in the car. We just popped back to mine and got changed because it started raining as we were walking back to the car and we got drenched, hence yep. this frizzy my mess on my... <laughs> on a ball. Somewhere up there, yeah. There. So we went back, got changed because we were muddy as well. So we just popped out into Stamford Town Centre because we're going to the shop to get some bits because we're baking tonight. Oh yeah. We're gonna make Terry's chocolate orange brownies. We were gonna make something pumpkin related, but I didn't want it to be a massive fail. I can't see how that would work, a pumpkin brownie. I thought that I thought like that's fundamentally wrong. You don't even like fruit with cakes. No. Sophie thinks carrot cake is wrong. It is a vegetable cake. <laughs> it's like having an aubergine and shoving it in a cake mix for giggles. I don't know. You were gonna say for shits and giggles. Oh, for shits and giggles. I could not get it. I know what you mean. I do enjoy a bit of carrot cake though. With is that cream cheese. Vegetable? I think pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin's a vegetable. vegetable yeah. So we're not doing anything with pumpkins tonight because I just, do you know what the worst thing is when you try something new and you've got a gut feeling that it's not going to be good and then you go through the effort of baking it and you taste it and it tastes like pumpkin. Yeah, I can't deal with that. <laughs> so we're going to make original brownies with Terry's chocolate orange to make it a little bit more festive because I feel like chocolate orange is, it's kind of Christmassy, I That's guess. It's me of uh, autumn. Is it? Oh, orange is autumn. Yeah, they are now. No, <laughs> they are now. Did you just do a thumb up too? Yeah. Why do we always do that? Yeah. 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 Should we have a thumb war? <gasps> One, two, three, four. I, I declare, declare a thumb, thumb war. I just let you know I'm quite good at these. It's because you got the nails. It's not my fault. I've got little nubbin nails. <gasps> You're cheating. Look, you twist. She's twisting my wrist. Look. I'm not twisting any wrist in. One, two, three, four. I have won the fun war. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm ready to exterminate. I'm just gonna throw it out there, right? I am feeling autumnal today. I got my big jumper on. The weather is like the perfect autumn weather, apart from the showers and the rain. Typical autumn weather. But it's like, it's isn't crisp. it, it's crisp. But crisp. it's not too cold. But it's cold enough to wear a jumper. It's just bloody lovely. I'm really loving my life today. It's a bit thin. Oh, no. So I shall link the brownie recipe below, but these are the ingredients that we need to get. So it's just not BBC good food. I feel like oh, they've got all the Christmas things. Oh, cute. oh my gosh, M&S do the best Christmas stuff in the whole world. I don't feel like this is as big as it usually is. I mean, if you go into like a big M&S, we're just in a little one right now. Oh look, a musical tune. Oh, we can like twist it. Wait. Pounds. That'd be such a nice present for someone. Oh, I just had a little brainwave and we're actually gonna put these inside the brownie mix because then there'll be little cookie dough bites. That's gonna be insane. Oh my god, oh my god, yum. You could actually put any of these inside like a brownie mix. You could even put our faves, which is the mini whips. They'd be so nice. I feel like they'd be a bit big though. I feel like these would be good in brownie mix and these cause they'd stay in like their little shell. Oh, they're gonna be amazing. They're gonna be so nice, aren't they? So another change of outfit, for me anyway, I've just put a big cozy hoodie on. 
um, because I just, that jumper was like too much around my neck. You know, sometimes when it feels like you're actually being suffocated, that was how I was feeling. And I want to eat tonight, so I want to be comfy. Um, so what have we been doing for the past few hours? Cleaning pumpkin. Am I going left or right? Um, that way, right. right. So we're just heading to the local pub now, and we're going to have all the foodies. We were going to walk. We were going to walk, but... Like, let people know the intention was there. The intention was there. We were going to go for a little autumn walk, but we're starving, and the walk from my house is about... At the pace we walk, at the pace <laughs> I walk, I walk slow. Speak for yourself. Probably about half an hour, and I I need food right now, so I just couldn't wait. Um, so we're just on our way there now to... It's the Northwick Arms. It's super cute the food is so nice um there's a car park just in here okay what as in in there yeah i mean it doesn't look very open oh my god sophie it doesn't look open <gasps> oh it's closed sophie i think it's closed should we go into samo then i could genuinely cry <sighs> she's so <Why> pissed <laughs> All I wanted was a bit of blooming The thing salmon. is, I know that they do like this unreal salmon dish here with like this creamy sauce and veg. <laughs> oh no. It's got to be closed, hasn't it? Because all the blinds were shut as well. Maybe the chef's having a holiday. <laughs> Shall we, um, do you want to go into Sanford? Should we Google somewhere to go? Yeah, be right back. PRB. <laughs> so we have decided that we're gonna go to it's not very autumnal, it's not very co actually it's quite cozy inside, isn't it? Next to the river. Yeah, it's next to the river. It's cute. It is cute. I know. Basically we're going to Pizza Express. <laughs> um we're a little bit stuck because that pub was the only like cute local pub. So now we've got to go into Stamford City Centre and it's a bit like I'm wearing a hoodie. <laughs> We were gonna go to William Cecil, but I feel like I'll get frowned upon a little bit. It's a little bit like Ponzi in there, isn't it? It is, but on the bright side of life, at least we didn't walk to the oh, local pub. Oh. I was gonna say, can you imagine if we did that? Oh my God, we didn't walk there for a reason. This is what I mean. Every single thing in life happens for a reason because imagine we trekked half oh. an hour to the bloody Northwick Arms and then it weren't open. I don't know what I would have done. I would have been ringing a taxi, I think, to go home. <laughs> home. <laughs> home. Houses here are an absolute joke, aren't they huge? They're the kind of houses though that look like haunted houses, like they're massive but they look like they are full of ghosts. Also, oh my god, Netflix recommendation for everybody. The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. It's amazing, like so good. It's one of those series, is, series. Is. It's got 10 episodes and each one is just so brilliant. Like sometimes with series, oh my <laughs> is, God, it, is it series? I think it's just series. Sometimes with a Netflix series, I find my mind wanders like so quickly. If I put the first episode on and I'm not hooked, I won't bother watching anymore. Are you like that? I'm exactly the same. I just think. I feel like it's a big, I feel like a series is a big commitment. Like it's not a film, it's something you've got to commit to. So if I'm not hooked by episode number one, it's going in the bin. But episode number one was wicked, it's so good. I'm on like episode number seven and it's, I'm, I just love it. I really love it. I love having something to put on in the evening. Like not a film, something that you want to catch up on. So yes, if you haven't seen that, it's very, very suited for this time of year. It's creepy, it's scary, it's really good and you need to see it um but i would like some more netflix recommendations from all of you please because you're very good at the old recommendations so if there's anything kind of like fitting for this time of year or any new scary films as well holler at me because i would like to watch them please so this is cute oh hey wait a minute i think you planned this i just heard you mention the carbonara pizza you did. You did it on purpose. We drove past Pizza Express and Sophie was like, oh, I love that carbonara pizza. And now we're here. I feel like you put it out into the universe. So I am getting this pizza 
on this base. Here she is at her happiest with the carbonara piece. To be fair, that does look unreal. I've tried it before and it's so nice. Yeah, you gave me a slice when you had it last time. <laughs> no. I got this one, which looks unreal. I'm so hungry, so shall we eat? I can't even talk, I've just got to eat. Next time you see this, it will be gone. Just gone, empty plate. Absolutely smashed it. Oh, I'm in a pizza coma now, are you? I've got room for a brownie. <laughs> or five? Look how cute it is out there. I feel cozy. Oh my god, that looks so cute. Oh, this looks cute. Look at the swans. Wait, they are swans, aren't they? Yeah, I thought they were geese. <laughs> it's not actually as cold. Well, <laughs> as I said that, like a huge cold breeze just got me. It's one of those like evenings that, you know, like on an autumn morning, darling, when you go outside and it looks sunny and it's actually like the coldest day of the whole entire year ever. It's almost like that tonight. Actually, so it's well cold. Yeah, it is. I'm getting, I'm getting the. Oh, I've got to get in the car. See you back home, ready for chocolate orange brownies. That's a tune. Love a bit of JT. <laughs> Jesus! Sorry! But this just shows that I spend way too much time at home with my cat. Sophie was literally just flying over speed bumps. Like, honestly, I don't think we touched the ground. We were like, woo! It was a bit of a zoom. It was a bit of a zoom. And I literally went to go, Sophie! As in, like, stop driving like that. And I went, Tilly! <laughs> I can't believe you tore me off in your cat's name. I just, I can just imagine you like driving along, like scat scat, little Tilly in a car. But yeah, I'm in the car with Dizzy Rascal. What's up, darling? Been keeping my eye on the movement. I can't see no one for improvement. Okay, so it's time to bake our brownies. We've got our little baking station over here. We are making um, brownies, as I said about ten thousand million times. We have already been in the cookie dough bites because we couldn't resist. Um, they are incredible would highly recommend so this recipe is just from bbc food i will pop it in the description box below it's super easy um not gonna like talk you through it like and tell you how to make brownies because they are pretty easy but obviously you can join us for the process um tesco didn't actually have any proper dark chocolate so we got this but it's cadbury so um you know it's gonna be amazing um, and then we got a Terry's chocolate orange for the top to make it a little bit more festive. Love chocolate orange as well. And then we also got some galaxy and some white chocolate to like cut up in chunks and put inside the brownies. So these are going to be absolutely incredible. They're going to have cookie dough, milky bar, galaxy, dairy milk, chocolate orange. What more could you actually want in a brownie? What is the first step, chef? 85 grams of unsalted butter into small cubes and tip into a medium bowl. Break 185 grams of dark chocolate into small pieces and drop into the bowl. Okay, so we need a bowl. Oh, I'll get, I'll get one out the cupboard. The RB. Would you like to cut the butter or the chocolate? Can I cut the chocolate, please? Should we try a bit of that? I think we should, it's only fair. I think we should definitely test it before we put it in our brownies just to make sure it's nice. Well, there we go. Chin chin. All in. Cheers, everyone. Chocolate cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. You've got too much flour. It's going to go stiffy in a jiffy. <gasps> Is that your saying? <laughs> and then, I wish I could tell you all a saying Sophie came up with earlier. <laughs> Was it grossly inappropriate? Yeah, I cannot say that on the internet. Okay, so Chef One and Chef Two don't actually have an electric whisk. So we're probably going to be whisking eggs for the next foreseeable future. We're probably going to be here till Christmas or New Year or something. So we're going to put you on a cute autumn time lapse and we'll just, we should... Uh, chocolate brain. <laughs> and we shall see you in a little while when we're ready to devour the brownies. Oh my God. Excited. 2am in the car playing our favourite song.
to like 10 o'clock. <laughs> Who needs an electric whisk when they've got a Sophie? <laughs> Look at the rest. Look at the rest. Oh, at 25, 26, we were sat on the floor whisking eggs to the floor. <laughs> like, absolutely, like, getting them. Is this where you envisioned your life to be? Yeah, you know, quarter of a century, where would I rather be than sat on the floor <laughs> whisking an egg with a fork when we should have an electric whisk? This is a genuine crisis. We sing along. Summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Waiting for the brownies to be cool, like. <laughs> oh my god, this doesn't actually do it justice. I am so proud of us, Sophie. It just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Oh my god, it's so gooey in the middle. I can't really show you the middle right now because it needs to be like stone cold until I can like separate it because. If you see, if I try and separate it, it kind of like falls apart. Um, but it's so gooey in the middle, but that obviously needs to set. But me and Sophie need to try some. It's because of those cookie bites. You're going right in the middle of it. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> see, this is what I mean. It needs to be cool, but we want to try some. Uh oh. I mean, it is because <laughs> it's because the cookie bites are still really hot, but oh my god, look how gooey that is. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I got cookie dough. Mmm. That's what I just got as well. It's so good. Oh, I just need to try a bit more. Just a little bit, just to make sure it's nice. You know? Yeah. The flavours didn't quite come through. Mmm. Well, that is bloody marvellous. Do you know what? The cookie dough bites make that because they make it more gooey. It's so good. Oh. I mean, just one more bit, just to yeah. feel like we should have just one more bit, just to just to make this is the final taste. Yeah, just just to make sure. Mmm. Okay, prepare it every time. Mmm. God damn it! British Bake Off 2020. Here we come. I need another bit just to. Just to make just sure that reassurance you. God, I'll do the same. Mm. Come to me. Have you had a good day? It's been so fun. Hasn't do it? Care? We've done loads. I know. You kind of forget what you've done when it gets like the end of the day. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to spend more little days with us, then just let us know. We're going to be doing lots more of these near Christmas, like Christmas markets, oh, Christmas shopping. There's so much to do around So Christmas. there is. I feel like this time of year, there's just so much more stuff to do. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to stick around. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. I wish you could try this brownie. I wish I could send every single one of you like a slice of this brownie. Or like a sniff of this brownie, because this brownie smells good. Oh, doesn't it? I know. It's All like, I can smell is like chocolate it's like, orange. It's like wafting. Whoa! Mm, it's so nice. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 I only ever do that when you're here. Really? When I'm on my own, I'm like, bye. And then when you're here, we're like, bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye everyone, hope you enjoyed it. Love you so much. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you